What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about a fairly hot topic in the community, and this is weapon leveling and weapon XP in Black Ops Cold War. As I'm sure many of you guys know, the weapon leveling in this game is painfully slow, or at least it can feel painfully slow a lot of the times, especially if you're using a gun that isn't so great. So in today's video, I wanted to share what I've found to be the best methods for maximizing your weapon XP so that you can gain those levels at least a little bit faster than you might be currently. And the main thing I wanted to test here was the different game modes that you can play, because in this game you can level up while playing Zombies, Fireteam Dirty Bomb, or regular multiplayer, all of these things will be leveling up your weapons, as well as your character. Now unfortunately, in Cold War, at least at this point, there is never any actual indication of weapon XP. So you never get to see exactly how much weapon XP you earned in a match, and even if you're in the menus, all you can see is your weapon level, as well as a progress bar, with no stated values. As a result, I had to get a little bit creative with my testing here, but what I did to test this is I chose a weapon that was leveled up a little bit so I could do all of my testing within the same weapon level on the same gun. And for me, this turned out to be the QBZ-83, which was at weapon level 11 when I started my testing. And the first mode I wanted to test was Fireteam Dirty Bomb, because before my testing, I really felt like weapon levels were coming much faster in that mode, and I wanted to test to see if this is true. So what I did is I took a screenshot of my progress bar for the QBZ at level 11 before the game, then I hopped in, I got one single kill, and I measured where that progress bar was at after that kill. And it turns out, with just one kill in Fireteam Dirty Bomb, my progress bar was increased by 24%, which was quite a bit. That actually surprised me a lot. Now, of course, keep in mind, as you get higher and higher with weapon levels, you're going to need more XP per weapon level. So I'm not saying that 24% is going to apply to any weapon level. It just applies to weapon level 11. But still, I found that to be pretty impressive. But then after that, what I did is I hopped into a game of Team Deathmatch, and I did the exact same thing. I got one single kill, and I measured how much that progress bar moved. And in this case, it moved by about 10%. And then finally, I wanted to test out zombies. And what I did for this, instead of just getting one zombies kill, which barely moves the progress bar, I killed 10 zombies. And then I measured the progress bar, and it turns out it moved by only 3.6%. So you can see there, if Team Deathmatch is our baseline in this case, Fireteam Dirty Bomb gives you a 2.4 times multiplier per kill for weapon XP, which is quite a bit. And for zombies, you need to kill 28 zombies to get the equivalent of one kill in Team Deathmatch. And keep in mind, I did repeat this test at a later zombies round as well, so I tested within the first couple zombies rounds to get those initial 10 kills, and then I also did the same thing where I used a different gun until I got to about round 10, and then I killed 10 zombies with the QBZ, and it moved the exact same amount. So it doesn't really seem to matter which round you're in, you're going to get the same amount of XP per zombies kill, although when you get to the higher rounds, there's going to be more zombies to be killing, and therefore you could make an argument that yes, you will be earning weapon XP faster as you get to higher zombies rounds. Now this of course so far doesn't paint the whole picture. We get a bit of an indication of how much XP we're getting per kill in the different modes, but a kill in Fireteam Dirty Bomb, for instance, isn't going to be equal to a kill in Team Deathmatch. So what I decided to do is put together sort of example scenarios for me and my playstyle and my expected kills within a certain period of time in each one of these modes. And after playing a few games of Fireteam Dirty Bomb, I found that I was averaging roughly 30 to 35 kills in a 20 minute game. And just for the sake of this example, if we take our testing and convert our percentage point, and we'll just call that an XP value, it's not actually our weapon XP, it's just for the sake of example here so we can simplify things a little bit. But since we got 24% progress for a single kill in Fireteam Dirty Bomb, we'll call that 24 XP, and we can get 30 of those kills within a 20 minute period. That will give us 720 quote unquote XP. And if we convert that to XP per minute, that's 36 of this arbitrary XP per minute that we can get in Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Then with Team Deathmatch, I'm going to be able to get more kills within that same period of time. And for me and how I tend to play, I average this out to roughly 25 gun kills within a single Team Deathmatch game, which including lobby times that will at least take up about 10 minutes or so. Now normally I'm actually in the 30 plus kill range for a team deathmatch game, but a good handful of those will be from score streak kills, so that's why I sort of rounded down to 25 gun kills in a single game of team deathmatch. And if we do the math on that one, we get 25 of this XP that I made up per minute, which is noticeably less than fire team dirty bomb. But finally getting into zombies, what I did here is I started at round one and I actually set a timer for 20 minutes so that it was equalized with fire team dirty bomb. 
and I wanted to see how many gun kills I could get on zombies in a 20 minute period. And it turns out I killed almost exactly 200 zombies, so we just rounded to 200. And when we do the math on this one, it is laughably low. We get 3.6 XP per minute. So obviously, zombies is not a very good choice if you're trying to maximize your weapon XP. Now, it is worth mentioning that I did start at round 1 with my timer here. If I started at round 10, for instance, yeah, I'm going to be getting more XP per minute in zombies than the first several rounds, because there's going to be way more zombies to go around to kill. But even then, your earn rate won't even be close to Team Deathmatch. But what this all means, for me at least, is Fireteam Dirty Bomb is absolutely the most effective mode to be playing in order to level up your guns fastest. In fact, my weapon XP earn rate is about 44% higher in Fireteam Dirty Bomb compared to Team Deathmatch, based on these stats. So if you are looking to maximize your weapon leveling, absolutely, I'd recommend playing Fireteam Dirty Bomb. However, that's not the only tip that I've got for you today. I did dive a little bit deeper into my testing. I wanted to see exactly what would help you level up guns. And while I did get some inconsistent results here and things are a bit strange when it comes to weapon XP, I found that really the only things that seem to provide you with weapon XP are going to be eliminations against enemy players. And I say eliminations because this includes either a full kill or an EKIA or an assist essentially. Both of those will give you the same amount of XP as far as I can tell at least with my testing and also destroying streaks with that weapon. And again, based on my testing here, based on what I've been able to see, destroying a UAV for instance is roughly equal to the same amount of weapon XP that you would get for getting a kill on an enemy player in a regular multiplayer mode. And this is good information to know because especially with LMGs, when you put that barrel on that increases your damage against enemy score streaks, you could honestly just hop into a combined arms game, that's what I'd recommend because there's going to be more streaks in the air because there's more enemy players earning streaks. And you could honestly just sit back in your spawn and just take out streaks with your gun and you'll be earning weapon XP fairly effectively. Especially if you're doing that alongside also playing the match and trying to get as many kills as possible against enemy players. Whenever you get an opportunity, just look up to the sky, shoot down a UAV, and that's basically like getting a free kill for your gun. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as what I found with my testing. Also, I should mention here, of course, if you are on PlayStation, you will get 25% bonus weapon XP if you're partied up with another player. And that other player can be on any platform. They don't have to be on PlayStation as well. As long as you are playing on PlayStation, you'll get that 25% weapon XP boost just for being in a party. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention before wrapping this up is after doing my testing, I discovered that Sour had already made a video on this. He's a great content creator. I will leave a link to his video down below. And it was interesting to see that we had a fairly similar methodology in our testing and we both got fairly consistent results. However, he ended up going into far more detail than I did. That's a big focus of his channel is on challenges and stuff. So it makes sense that he went into more detail. That's outside the scope of what I wanted to present in this video. I wanted my video to just be short and to the point, show you guys exactly how you want to be maximizing your weapon XP. But if you guys want to find out more details, I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description down below because there's some really interesting information that he found with weapon XP. It's really inconsistent, it turns out. But yeah, that's mainly just for the people that want to dive a little bit deeper into the topic. And with that, I'm interested in hearing from you guys in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on the current rate of progression for weapon leveling in Black Ops Cold War? Do you agree with me and think that overall the weapon leveling is just too slow at this point in the game? Or do you think it's just fine as it is? Just let me know those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.